Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Dorios and today we're back with another episode of The Wandering Village. If you guys haven't seen the last episode yet, definitely go check it out. It'll be up on the screen right here, right now in the cards. So go check that out. And let's get right on in to this episode. So if you guys remember the last time we were in the sleeping spot right over here and now we're wandering back through the desert. Not the best place to be wandering through, to say the least. We did construct quite a few things though this last time. It was kind of like the golden ages of our little civilization, you may say, um, because we actually were able to collect water and everything. And now we are unable to collect water. We do have a little decontamination center right here. Just in case we do get some poisoned areas, we can decontaminate them. As you can see, there's like little blue mushroom spores all strewn throughout the desert. And that's all from contamination. We don't want that. There's some spores up here. Currently, I believe that we are trying to build our little horn blower. We are creating the Anbu kitchen as well, which makes food for our little Anbu friend. I say little, we're literally living on its back. We do have to get the trebuchet to throw the food to the Anbu itself. They are out of water at the farm. So once they collect and harvest all of the crops they have currently, those are all the crops we have. I do kind of like watching the Anbu walk in like four times speed. You really get to see like the movements. I love how all of these little pieces along the ombu just kind of like dangle. I'm assuming they're kind of like skin or something like that because they look like skin. I am curious to know the backstory between like why the ombu is missing one of its horns on its head. I wonder if we'll be able to find that out. I really hope that there's a story mode to this game where it just kind of gives a lot more backstory. Now we can go ahead and research the ombu doctor first because we are probably going into a... Oh no, the Ambu. Oh, let's see. Which way are we going, Sir Ambu? It looks like we're going straight to another sleeping spot. So we're not going to go through this small pollen spore or swarm, whatever it is. We're going to send a party to a ruined settlement out here. There may be survivors that we can collect from there. So we might be able to get our population up a little bit higher, which I would love because we don't have enough people at the moment. Give Ambu any horn command. We have to wait for the villager who is assigned to the horn to get there. Lie down, walk. We can do run. So this is the Ambu running. Interesting. It's like, it's definitely swaying a bit more. But I'm assuming it'll just get it tired a lot faster. I like how the Ambu also looks to its side as it's listening for the horn blow. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, we have the Ambu feeding trebuchet now as well. So maybe we'll go ahead and place that right here next to the horn, which takes wood planks and stone slabs, which we do have. We do indeed have, and they're just going to go ahead and build that over time, hopefully. I love that we can come up all the ways over here to actually see its head and everything as well. It looks like we are going to hit a short, cold snap, which is a little bit worrying. But we are collecting food over here and hopefully some villagers crossing our fingers. There is an actual village that we can send them to afterwards over here. They brought back 24 bread. Nice. We don't have actually any bread right now. Let's send a party to the settlement. One of only a few remaining settlements that has not yet been swallowed by the poisonous plants. Some villagers might want to join us on Ambu, depending on our village's happiness. Okay, let's send a party over here because our villagers' happiness, I'm pretty sure, is happy. We're at 110% total productivity. It looks like everyone's happy because of the food quality and the housing quality. Learn how to command Ambu to sleep. We are going to go ahead and do the hut first, though. Because having more housing would be better, especially if we're going to start getting some more villagers here now in a little bit. Are we out of berries right now? Really? Or we're out as we have too much storage right now or too much in storage, I believe. That's the issue with both of these. We might as well lock the beet farm down. We don't have any water right now. An oasis with oh, send a party to an oasis, please. Please, please, please send a party to an oasis. That would be a beautiful, lovely. I'm assuming they'll bring back water if they find anything at the oasis. Ooh, we finished the trebuchet. We now have the trebuchet. 
um, can be used to launch food for Ambu to eat and decrease its hunger. So we only need one food. Oh, it actually does shoot the food. <gasps> and he caught it in his mouth. Go! That's adorable. That's amazing. Oh, we saw it. I sort of saw it. Dang it. We now have the Anbu Doctor as well. The Anbu Doctor will help with the Anbu's poison level. And we're about to go through a cold snap, but that's fine. We don't have any plants anyways, so it doesn't really matter. They brought back 49 water. Nice. Okay. So we can unlock all the different farms. Because we have water again. We can also unlock a warehouse. Let's go ahead and get that. We can now unlock huts. So maybe huts we can start building. Maybe the huts are like more in this area. By placing down this many huts, we're definitely not gonna have to worry about housing for the rest of this demo. A hut has been constructed. Nice. Housing quality is two and amount of beds is six. It gives a 20 bonus to residents. I'm assuming residents are probably gonna go ahead and move over to there. I do like the little Ambu like healing balloon and like all the little pieces and intricacies it has to it. This is when I wish that we could actually rotate the camera. Like, because you can see the little mini ombu that they built back here to kind of teach people about where you're going, what you're doing. They have all the health and medicine stuff back here, all the bottles around it. I like the little sketches of the ombu, which is really cool and cute. It's adorable. This is like the ombu little station right here. This is like how we take care of our ombu all in like one little area. A party returned from an expedition. They brought back 19 bread. Nice. Okay. Let's send an expedition over to here. It looks like we're about to hit our very first medium pollen storm. A toxic pollen cloud increases toxicity levels and spawns poisonous plants on Ambu's back. Which during that, we're probably going to use most of our general workers. We're going to drop the number of workers in the general workers hut down to maybe like two, just so we have workers still doing something. And we're going to put all of them into the doctors and into the decontaminator to make sure that all of our villagers are good. Probably into the decontaminator first and then the doctor if we need it. Quarry or sawmill? Let's go for a quarry because we need stone more than we need wood. It seems like to build these buildings. Um, I feel like trees spawn much quicker, whereas stone takes a while to spawn. And it's like all of our stone is like really far away too. The quarry is going to have to be like over here anyways. Oh, the, our first toxic cloud. Into the deep. Dark, toxic world. Oh no. I'm like kind of nervous and anxious. We're going to look for any spores that are spotting up. Anything that starts to just pop up anywhere. Because it is likely that we're going to have plenty of things popping up. As you guys can see, our entire little civilization is just engulfed in this spore cloud. We're actually going to unlock the decontaminator right away. Everything's just engulfed in spores. Everything. <laughs> oh, that makes me so anxious and nervous. Little Ambu, don't get too poisoned. We have the means to cure him. We have the means to cure ourselves. A toxic cloud full of dangerous spores temporarily increases toxicity levels and spawns poisonous plants on Ambu's back. I'm really hoping that those poisonous plants are anywhere. Ooh, it shows it. It shows it when you get to the decontamination. It's decontamination time! Next time on The Wandering Village. They spread out these poisonous plants so far. There's an entire toxic forest over here. Poisoned berry bush, poisoned tree, and poisoned land. Another cloud. We're going through another. This is our third spore cloud. 